all right guys welcome back to the nice fast channel i hope you are having a great day like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i am a big mess and stuff is everywhere but uh welcome say hello to ren and stimpy man everything is all out of whack here all right uh say hello to ren and stimpy powder toast man log tv choo choo charlie brown charlie brown Gimli, me, and you, and let's get started. Woo! All right. Uh, welcome back, guys. And we are currently sitting at 18,059 subscribers. Thanks to each and every one of you. That means we've crossed over 18,000, which is really stinking cool. And I can't do it, obviously, without you guys. Uh, thanks to all who've been here for a long time. Thanks to all you new folks. Appreciate all of you. Let's see. Who's here? Knives are life member, uh, Homer Feltis member, Jim Miller member and moderator. And the chat is just going, bye, bye. Tim B member and channel and uh, moderator, Michael Morgan. Oh, I'm an April Fool. Sure, fine. Ryan Die, hello. Mike McLaughlin, LCB. Mike and LCB are both members. LCV are both members. Very cool. Good to see you. All of you guys, rule number nine, David, hello, sir, Justin, Ohio, and uh, David is a channel member as well. I'm me, hello, Ryan Dye, hello, hello, Manny Z, thank you, brother, Keith the Knife Freak, channel member, and Wrench, moderator, very, very cool, uh, very good, top dog, what's up, man, good to see you, Mark Ratliff, hey, buddy, good to see you here as well, there's Kathleen, What's up, Kathleen? Good to see you. Uh, there you go. Tonight's guest will be Austin from traditionalpocketknives.com, a.k.a. A -K -A C. Reisner Cutlery. And you may see something sitting back here that we'll talk about shortly. Uh, let's see. Who else is in here that I'm missing? There are 36 people in here, and there's no way I've said 36 names. da 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 da, -da. Uh, well, I think I've read all these names. So let's see. T-R-E-D-C. T-R is here. Hello. Good to see you as well. Well, I'm glad everyone is here. And if, if I missed you, I'll try to catch it here in a moment. And uh, thanks to my mods in advance for all your help. Very much appreciate it. And uh, man, the chat looks like a Christmas tree. It's like, woohoo. It's just lit up, which is great. Fred. What's up, Fred the Lug? What's going on? Good to see you. David Helka, another channel member, as is Fred. Both of them are. Renee Ramon, hello, hello. Will be long time channel member. Hello. Good to see you as well, Will. Awesome to have you here. Lots of great people in here. Changing diapers. Jeez. Oh, uh, no fun. Uh, Michael Morgan, first question. Does he still open slip joints with his thumb? Does he still call it jigged? Okay, we'll, we'll, we will ask those questions for sure. But first, let's get into some fun. And uh, guys, we are going to celebrate tonight. And if you've been around the channel, which most of you have, you know what that means. So stick around. Uh, we're going to celebrate and have some fun. And Tim's already putting up the deals as well. Uh, there's the link and the details. So very, very cool. Hey, Hal. Uh, hey, Richard Kaufman, what's up? What's up, Richard? Glad to be here. My Glad you are here. Member for seven months. There is your Dalika salute. Thank you, sir. Very cool. All right. So um, let's go ahead and start hammering out pocket checks and see what everybody's carrying today. It is cold down here. Hello there, Goondocks. What's going on, man? Christopher Wheeling as well, channel member. Glad to have you here. So let's start uh, telling me what you guys are carrying today, and then we will uh, have some fun. Oh, wait a minute. Tim, what other configs? What other configs do they have them in? That's cool. I didn't know they were making them in more configs, so that is awesome. Uh, rule number nine has a uh, channel member, by the way, has nice, fast, blue jet stream. Red Dust Devil Case Single Blade Sow Belly Sapphire Victorinox Huntsman uh, Olight I5R Titanium Leatherman Wave Plus Forest Tanks Rule Number Nine 
Hank, very cool, sir. Mike McLaughlin has been a member for eight months, and he says, always great to see KC on a Monday. Well, you know, I wish everybody said that, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> if they said that when I walked into work on a Monday, it would make me smile, you know? Come on. Tell them. All right. I'm just kidding. Mike is also a channel member. Thank you. Carry my brand new Cold Steel Mayhem tonight. Mayhem. Uh, for Fook Doozle. Hello. Hello. Glad to have you here. All uh, right. Andrew, what's going on? Another channel member. And Fook Doozle is also a channel member. Very cool. Uh, Black Talon 2, best tech Spanish tip razor. Rule number nine, domino all for a goon docs. Very cool to have you here, sir. I almost said your name, and I don't know if that's public knowledge, so I won't do that. Uh, I have OEG Pike uh, picked it up at the New York Custom Knife Show this past weekend. That sounds cool, the show and the knife. So very cool. I know a lot of people got to that, but not me. Uh, but good to see you, TR. Could be reverse tux. Uh, full titanium and flame titanium. Very cool for the Veragero. The, the original is still cool, but those those sound really cool too. Ah, uh, there we go. Kathleen's got a microburst from Tempest and an SAK mini champ. Very cool, Kathleen. Jim Miller, channel member. Uh, Naf's Lander 1, Lander 2, Aries Thorn, and a CDC collab Corgi today. Very cool. I was sad to see those guys didn't quite make it on the um, the pre-order for the outbreak, but they'll, they'll they'll get it figured out. Spyderco Manix 2XL, Manly Wasp, and a Brynite PT16A4, Mr. Top Dog. Top Dog, that dog right there always looks like he wants to bite me. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> ABW Warning Magna Cut, a nice, slightly darker Sapphire Blue G10. Oh, very cool. Very cool. That's Michael Morgan, by the way. Hey, Richard. Oh, I already said hello to Richard, but hello again. Andrew has a XM18 3.5 from Hinder and a BRK Hildy Clip Point, which he just got today. Very cool. Arcane Design Paratheon and an Olamic Swish. Or Swish. I don't know. Uh, for No, it is a Swish. I'm kidding. For Hal. And Andrew, by the way, was a channel member. Brian Kerr, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Uh, Keith, the knife freak, had a blue jet stream today. Very, very cool. The knives fast edition. Savivi Kwaikyu, Kwaikyu, something obscene, Nimli, and a Chavez tack for Renee Ramon, who's also a channel member. Tim B's got an Aries Green Tobiko. A QSP Leopard and a Victorinox Classic SD and an Olight i3 TEO well, EOS. Yeah. Tim B, channel member as well. C R K T I B I for Rory Calhoun. Rory's a channel member and all around big supporter of the channel. Thank you, Rory. Blue Jetstream and Blue Arctic Storm Jaeger V3 Blue Monday. Nice, David. I love the combo there. So you got the blades, you got the blade shapes covered. Thanks for being a channel member. Robert Feely, also a channel member, has a jet stream and a new Devo Stout that came from me. <laughs> Very cool, Robert. Thank you for the support. Blue Jet Stream, Savivi McKenna for Thomas McDonald. Good to see you, Thomas. PM2 and Magnicut. Uh, GEC 47 and the Springfield Armory XDS 45 for Ryan Die. Thank you, Ryan, for being a channel member. Man, I am way behind in the chat. Keep thinking I'm catching up and it's just not happening. Leatherman Wave that I just used on my girlfriend's daughter's nose ring. <laughs> Only here on the Nice Fast channel. Thanks, Mark, for being here, brother, and for the uh, nose ring info. Uh, hopefully everything's okay. I've got a Rex 45 Shaman and an S90 V P M2. Dang, dude. Manny Z, very cool. Loaded for bear. Robo Stevo, what's up? Good to see you. James Alton, hey, buddy. Carried the Kaiser Critical Mini and a Spyderco Native Gen 1. In my hand now is the Remet Rhino for 
LCV. Very good. Good to see you. He's also a channel member. C Lander is awesome. I want a 14C contoured my car. That would be cool. Uh, Kunwu Padre and a whoa, Kunwu Padre and a ProTech Malibu New York custom knife show special edition. Look at you, Fred. Very cool. I'm glad you got to go. And thanks for being a channel member. And speaking of channel members, Richard Kaufman has a Kaiser October, Arkfeld Pro, and a SOG multi tool. Very cool. Oh, Father's a channel member and a longtime supporter. Oh, Light Arkfeld, Open Pro, Jack Wolf Pioneer Jack, Vosti Nightshade, Caviso Keen Mini, Oh, Light I5R, and a Junkin Genius Hank. Uh, that is very cool. And thank you for being here. Goodness. Hey, Sean Bats, what's up? Therese Stavin Troy is back to being Therese Stavin Troy with the awesome channel membership as well. Oh, look at that. Brian Kerr has been a member for three months. Thank you, Brian. Here is your Dalika salute. The support means a lot. And ladies and gentlemen, it is Jay Corscadden in the house. Faux show. Mash flame titanium. Titanium smock and a hedgehog. And I'm going to keep doing it, Jay. I'm going to keep on keeping on. It's happening. Mike R. Hello, sir. Good to see you. You have a Kaiser Militaw in black DLC purple haze and a Leatherman Arc and an Olight Marauder mini. Dang, dude. Very cool. I love the Marauder. It's an awesome one. Hey, Josh304, what's up? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know that answer, Brian. And by the way, Jay Corscadden is also a channel member. Forgot to mention that. Oh, yeah, I love seeing the pocket checks. And there's always a lot of Tempest stuff in there, which just does my heart good. Hello, Dugan Stuff and Things. What's up, channel member as well? Dugan is in the house. I don't know why I said how. Oops. Uh, sounded like Tim the Toolman Taylor there. Uh, Flipper Delete Chavez Tack modded by Chris Burns for Ed, who's also a longtime channel member. Thank you, Ed. Very cool. All right. Here goes Will B. After he's done with the diapers, uh, channel member Grimsma Norseman, Spider Cut Smock, uh, Tucson TS291, Kaiser Bag Glider XL Axial Shift. TKL Night Stalker CQC, Olight Baton 3, and a Karis Bolt V2, all for my friend Will B. There up in Ohio. Acid Test Kids, hello. Clint Minich, hello there. Good to see you. I hope I said that name right. Uh, carrying the little bro Kira Knight Crystal Lake. No way. We're knife brothers today, man. Look at this. Bam. Straight out of the pocket. All right, there we go. Mike Reese is in the house. Good to see you, Mike. Splitting slices. There is Bar our buddy Byron. Whoa, stop it. Good to see you all. Thank you very much, Byron. I appreciate it, man. Very cool. Yeah, good channel member. Byron's been here as a channel member for a long time as well. All right. Think I can skip ahead. Hey, I'm me. All right. Oh, uh, nope. All right. Trying to get this straight. Uh, let's see. Rusty, limited to respond. Spidey Chef customized by Scott, a big boar, and a tactile rock wall. Very cool, Rusty. Long, long time channel member. Very, very cool. Uh oh. We have a correction from the O Father. He has. Uh, the Thunderbird, not the Nightshade. Uh, that's okay. We'll forgive you this time. Dugan's got a CMB Predator. Thank you, Dugan. Obsessive Collecting Disorder. I like it. Uh, especially since your picture looks like a bunch of knives. So, very cool and welcome. Good to have you here from Florida. I hope you're not the Florida man everybody talks about. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Carrie is a K Sawbuster Jr. and Chestnut Bone. Vost uh, cool cold steel Monday mayhem and S35 for Byron channel member. Man, we've got a lot of uh pocket checks going on today. Everybody's got something, which is awesome. 
Been a member for a long time. Yes, you have, Keith. Thank you, my friend. There is your awesome Dalika salute from the founder of the Dalika Club. That is cool. Mr. Dalika himself. All right, let's see. Am I getting, I am not getting caught up, am I? Keep thinking I'm getting caught up, but I'm just not. All right, uh, let's see. Big Idea Design, Slim Bolt Action Pen, Machined Raw, Mark Smith Marker and DLC, Nafs Lander 2 in Black, Olight Arc Fell Pro for Mr. Wheeling, who is a channel member. Thank you, Christopher. Appreciate that. Uh, okay, Ritter Hogue. Fixie, Mini Elementum Fixed Blade, CRKT Spew, uh, Jetstream, Pinion, uh, Kituo Kamasu, Kaimano, Shaman, RR Standard, Clydesdale, Two Force Tanks, Olight Baton, Three Pro Max, and Demons Behind Me Coin, all for our buddy, Mr. Dopey. Good to see you, brother. Carrying my Devo Knives Airstream, the best thing Devo has done. There you go, Troy. Troy's a channel member as well. And there is Jay saying, faux show. And he's been a member for three months. Oh, gosh. See, Jay, now you got the goofy KC going on here. This is not good. we got to put him away. Uh, Kaiser Lieb is my pocket at the moment for obsessive collecting disorder. OCD, we will call you. And I think I'm caught up. Am I? Am I? Nope. Gons. Hello, sir. Benchmade 9400. Uh, Concept Mini Corvid. Forest Tank. Lancelot Wallet and a CZ75. Very cool. Trouble Bunny. Hello, Trouble Bunny. Welcome. And Tim is still putting deals up. All right, guys. I am going to skip forward. If I move, if I miss, if I missed your pocket check, please drop it again. Uh, but I've got to get to the end of this chat. I see you, Austin. I'll be right there, buddy. So let's just look at what I'm carrying today, and then we're going to put Austin on the spot. But he already, he's already playing with something, so we're good. So for me, I had the uh, Tempest Fractus Blue Sky uh, prototype today. Uh, yep, loving this guy still. Holding up really well to all my use and abuse. I did a lot of cutting with it today. Uh, and then we have, uh, you know, I, I have decided that I don't think I can call any other Finch my favorite. I, I like the 1929 is still always going to be my like sentimental favorite, but this blue jig bone Flint, I mean, come on. I don't know how you can beat this. Uh, this is just gorgeous. And there's been a lot of great Finches. And then last but not least, dropping stuff on the floor. Uh, the Jack Wolf, beautiful Jack Wolf, Crystal Lake, Kieranite, Little Bro Jack. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got more people doing stuff over here. I'm coming for you, Austin, I promise. Uh, we got Ginger Fisher, eight months. Happy Blue Monday. Here is your Dalika salute. And then holy moly, Bluminati uh, coming in hot. Uh, what's up, brother? Whoa, the chat just went berserk. I can't even get to your chat. Uh, there is your Dalika salute. Congrats on 18,050 subs, $18.50. Be up. Limo stream, high ho anodized Clydesdale, lush purple Kaimano, MSI gunstock scales, Formax scout hedgehog, vampire jack, top dog, T bod. And B E D C and B up Hanks. Holy moly. I think I got all that. Thank you so much, my friend, for your awesome, generous uh super chat. I appreciate it. All right, let's get Austin in here. Let's grab this, take this down, and go. Bam! There's Austin. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? Beard. Look at the beard. Nope. Yep. Dude, <laughs> he's he's styling, guys. Look at that. Everybody mm -hmm. say hey to Austin. And uh, we will get this going. Look what he's got. There might be one of these sitting back here as well that I just unboxed. Yeah. Uh, you'll enjoy my video because it was a major screw up. Here's here's the blow by blow of what I did in my unboxing video, okay? Mm -hmm. So I put the box up here, and I say, all right, guys, I'm going to pull this off camera so I don't show any labels. And I cut it off camera, and then I put this up here, 
and I set the box right here. Mm -hmm. And so about six minutes into my unboxing video, I realized my address has been on camera the whole time, <laughs> nice. the entire time. Yeah. And so I'm like, why? So I had to start over and mm -hmm. just basically do it as a look what just came in kind of thing, but <laughs> it still came out good. Uh, I am a dork. Austin, fastest shipper ever. I will have to agree with you, Jim. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. I will have to agree that. with you. Uh, he and I, I, you have to admit, I don't have knives all the time, but when I, when you guys buy one of my knives in stock, it goes out quick. You know that. Yeah. So uh, people were asking if I was April Fool in today when I said you were coming on. So no, <laughs> no April Fool. So if you guys wonder what we're holding up here, tell them what it is, Austin. And, and they're yep. coming Friday, man. Here we go. Yeah, so I reached out to QSP, uh, I don't know, four or five months ago, asked if they could do a smooth uh, Ultim. They said yes. Um, I didn't even get a prototype. I was like, you know what, I trust you, and went with it. And so obviously you can see a smooth Ultim, um, S90V, hollow grind. So, yeah, and what I'm uh, gladly calling the PP Penguin. So uh, PP it just rolls Penguin. off the tongue, the PP <laughs> Penguin. My wife, my wife just said call it the Triple P. So. Did you get the sticker? Yes, yeah, the, the stickers are <laughs> two of them here, but uh, I'll put one in the giveaway tonight because it's funny. There but you <laughs> uh, there you go, guys. This uh, he he. I said in the chat the first thing I said in the uh, in in our we have a uh, YouTube guy pass around mm -hmm. group kind of chat, and I went, yeah. "Oh, Austin was the guy that doubled down and just took it." You know, everybody's been <laughs> yeah. beating around the bush, and Austin's like, "Nope, yeah. nope." I'm doing it. Yep. It's, uh, it's, it's yeah, just trying to have fun with it. You know, that's what it's all about. Oh yeah. You gotta have fun, man. But, uh, that, that, so what I'm most surprised about when you said smooth to me, I was very worried that it was mm -hmm. going to be slick. And it, yeah. if you guys can hear this. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. pretty grippy. It's not like it. yeah. super grippy, but it's not slick in any mm -hmm. way. Yeah, so, and of course, it's a penguin. Uh, okay, so I wonder, Austin or anybody in the chat, does anyone want to argue with my premise? There is not another knife that has had more variations than a penguin. Yeah. I mean, can anybody think of something? I cannot. Maybe Civivi, but... I'm yeah, not, maybe, not a, maybe there's not, a Civivi not, or a... Uh, or a no Kaiser really doesn't do a lot of variants. They just do like one mm -hmm. or two things, and yeah. So I can't I can't really think of anybody that's just taken it. Maybe Pyrite Pyrites CGRB Pyrites could get there, uh, but I think I think the the big one uh, Elementum did the Elementum have a lot of them. JD maybe maybe yeah. So I just it just feels like there's been a lot. Of penguins oh, yeah. Yeah. um and uh you know it's a great platform i mean it's just mm -hmm. and guys here's the thing we were talking about this uh earlier today i did a i do a vertical live stream from time to time and i did or as everybody says all the time but anyway um uh this is s90v and a what is still considered a premium handle material mm -hmm. um and a button lock for 150 bucks. Um, mm -hmm. You can't beat that with a stick. So, yep. and again, with my code, for, uh, five, yeah. five bucks off too. Five bucks <clears> off <throat> that if you code knives fast TPK. So, uh, yeah, Rusty's got a good point. That's true, Rusty. Yeah, P PM2's had a lot of variants, <clears throat> and a lot of theirs are, I think they actually get extra credit because. Not only are they doing handle material changes, but there's been a billion steals on a PM2. So yeah, you're 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 probably right there. That's true. I didn't even think about that. And the XM18. Yep, yep. So guys, if you don't know who this guy is next to me here, uh, where have you been? First of all, this is Austin from traditionalpocketlabs.com. C Reisner Cutler. It was his grandfather's business. He worked with his grandpa. And uh, then took it over and turned it into something quite more than grandpa probably ever thought uh, or imagined yeah. it to be. And uh, Austin's just kicking butt over there and taking names and 
Um, and so uh, Austin and I, you know, uh, I do this channel and Austin and I talked and we have, there's two codes, guys. I'm an affiliate over there. You can use one of two codes. There's an uh, exclusives page and you can, and that includes this guy and you can use code knives fast TPK on that for $5 off. Okay. And these drop Friday at noon and there's only how many? Uh, 200 ultums. 200 ultums. Yep. Okay. And then of course there's still, we're, we're going to look at the, uh, I'll, I'll bring the gold jig tie penguin out later. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, hint, hint, Sounds nudge, good. nudge. But, <laughs> uh, but uh, um, uh, this guy and anything else on that exclusives page. Now, the other one that I think is actually equally as cool uh, because of two things. Number one, uh, I still think the Ohio River Jack is a very underrated knife, especially for what you get for the price. Mm -hmm. And I should have had one sitting out here. Um, yeah, I think I only have like natural micarta left and like the sheep's foot. Is that all you have clip. left? Um, uh, they're almost gone, guys. So if you, yeah. I, there's been a lot of people that said, I'd really like to have an Ohio River Jack. And guys, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. if, if you want one, you better get on it. And uh, you can get $10 off with code uh, knives fast. There's, I finally found one. Um, but this is the jig tie one, which is gone, you said, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. That, those yep. were the first. Yeah, these saw. are those long gone. Out. But uh, just a great slip joint uh, for what you get. Uh, M390. And, and in the case of what he's talking about, you're getting. It's it's in here somewhere, uh, but it's it's so hard to dig when you're trying to talk. You know, it's like <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do it later. But um, so uh, but anything. Uh, but uh, excuse me, Ohio River Jacks. Whatever's left, you get ten percent off with code Knives Fast Ten. Separate code, and then on top of that, we learned recently, anything Rosecraft, you get ten dollars off of that too, or ten percent. Sorry. Not ten dollars. Sorry, uh, and that tell us what we got right there, man. I've got one of those yes. on the way, but this is the Briar so Patch Jack, a new design first from Andy. Two blade, first two blade Rosecraft. Got a clip. So here you go. Got a clip over here, and then you got a nice uh, lamb's foot blade right here. Now, does that look like an extra tall clip to me, or am I crazy? Uh, is it? When I look, it just it looks a little. No, I don't I mean know. tall that way. I mean like tall, the blade height. Um, um, looks. No, am I crazy? I'm crazy. There's the clip point when it's seated. Yeah, uh, it's it just nice. look. I, okay. I like tall blades, and the reason I like them is then you get a, a nice, a, a very thin grind. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, look at that. A NASO five dollar super chat says. Uh, Happy 12, happy 18K, Casey. Good to see you, Austin. If we're making requests, I'd like to see a clip point in the hedgehog's handle. Interesting. Well, that's more of a QSP might, question than an Austin question. I might have question. something working, you know. Something. Ah, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. So this guy went trout fishing today. Trevor, how many fish did you come back with after fishing all day for trout? 26. Liar. You didn't catch a thing, did you? April Fool's. I got zero. You got skunked. Uh, that's terrible. Yeah, they haven't stocked in a bit, so he was taking chances. It was but, just uh, fun to go out. Yeah. Oh, no. It's absolutely <laughs> fun to go out. Mm -hmm. And it was a warm day, too. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, good to see you, bud. Yeah. Welcome to adult life, Trev. <laughs> that's right. Uh, all your expectations get knocked down just a little notch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. So, uh, guys, here's the deal. I, I am good. I like what you just threw out there, Anasso. We're gonna we're gonna pepper Austin with some questions, things you'd like to see. Uh, do yeah, remember, um, you know, Austin's got some uh I think didn't you just have the probably already gone? Did the beer busters already go? Or are they still oh, no, there? I still have uh, I sold maybe four or five, but I was actually pretty late on those. So <laughs> okay, yeah, he's got yeah. some uh, Esnick's beer busters. Oh, yeah, there's still I, I, a lot of people talk about them. So yeah, those are pretty cool. Kind of really have a really cool look to them. I'm not, I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I don't really need a bottle opener on my knife, but uh, a lot of people like them. Yeah. yeah. Getting skunked is better than catching a bullhead. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I didn't ask him how many lures he lost, Troy. Probably all of them. He took some of mine, too, because his girlfriend was going, so. Oh, no. Uh, Aries is worn out. All right, buddy. Thanks for being here for a little bit, and uh, appreciate your support, my friend. And uh, thanks for being a channel member for sure. Hey, pretty fly for knife guy. Hey, freak show. Everybody new coming in. Uh, there's already 89 people in here, which is cool. Very, very nice. I had to buy a new washer. Oh, my goodness. So Jim had to get, has to get a new uh, water heater, and Freak Show has to get a new washer. I got it. Uh, I'm getting my air conditioner fixed in my truck, and uh, you don't even want to know. Um, the guy who had it before me just filled it every year, but it's leaking so bad now it only made it like two mm -hmm. months last year. So yeah. I'm getting it fixed, and it's $760. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, really cool. I'm excited. Um, not really. Yeah, exactly, Trey. Exactly, Troy. Yeah, I, 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 I told my wife they're not going fishing. Are you kidding? Uh, oh, Jim, fix the water heater. Okay. Very good. Very good, sir. That's awesome. Jim is uh, resourceful to say the least. So, but um, uh oh, here comes Ashlyn. Is it already that time? Mm -hmm. All right, it's time for a bunny, uh, Austin. We're gonna we're gonna look. <laughs> she showed me this one, and I'm already laughing. She did this a few days ago, and it's pretty funny. So this is uh, Killer Bunny number eighty-seven, uh, the Killer Easter Bunny, and uh, guys. Uh, I just got to say, I want to pump you up. Um, it's the it's the bodybuilding Easter Bunny coming you to go. your house to crush your head. Okay, fine. Who wants <laughs> that one today? Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna be all over that. What's he's got? A, whoa! I just realized he's got a big scar on his face. Look at that. Nice. Oh my goodness, that's scary. Very nice. Very nice. She's staying off camera today for some reason. Hi. <laughs> they had the day off school today. I didn't have the day off work. Daggone it. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, splitting slices. It's a whole new compressor. It's a compressor. Yeah, he's got some pecs. Exactly. <laughs> he's got the six pack and he's got the serious pecs going on. No doubt. Ashlyn, would you like to Austin's Austin's got the artwork going on with the uh PP penguin here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, you're holding it the direction I can't see it. Well, you already saw it earlier. I oh well, yeah, you. it's funny. I think it's funny. Yeah, he he doubled down and had some fun with it. My <laughs> wife goes, my wife is looking at the sticker and she goes, Wait. And she says, Let me look at it again. And I said, What? She said, Is he peeing? And I'm like, That's, That's right. kind of the point. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, what I did, I just used the AI for the the cartoon, uh, and then I found somebody. some kind of peace stream with it. Ah, uh, gotcha! <laughs> That's hilarious. I <laughs> uh, love my bunny sticker. Very cool, Kevin Smith. We're still sending cool bunny stickers out, killer bunnies. There'd be one in the giveaway tonight, as a matter of fact. So that is what are you doing exactly? Pushing your chair. Well, I don't want to be pushed. I like your shirt. You like my shirt? Everybody, if you haven't seen, uh, this is, I got this one in today. This is another color of the same shirt I've already shown, but I can't get far enough back to be on camera. <laughs> my own camera? Yeah, you're mm. on camera. Okay. So that's, uh, Ashlyn made that design for me. <laughs> That'll be on uh, on me and, and my crew at Blade Show. I don't know. I like this color. Came out really good. So uh, I very soon, guys, I'm going to make these av available for you to order on Printful is the store I'm using for those. I hate having two different stores, but uh, Teespring only seems to do one side or the other. You either do the front or the back. You can't do both. So I wanted to do a front and back design, so I had to go with Printful. So uh, we'll have that. Very cool. Trouble Bunny loves uh, the bunny sticker as well. Very cool. All right. So, Austin, uh, is there anything? Uh, obviously... You know, anything else you want to say about the penguin here? Uh, and then uh, is there anything we want to tease? Anything else coming up 
uh, any more drops, anything, but again, not getting too far ahead of you because these are just coming Friday. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, I'll show the box real quick. Yeah, do it. So I had them improve the uh, button lock design, just added a extra ring to it. And then also, as a lot of people already know, uh, the stiffness of the button. I didn't want a weak button. You know, nobody wants that. So I had them toughen that up a little bit. Uh, improved yep. the sharpening coil, S90V, obviously a hollow grind, um, hand satin finish. So yeah, 200. It was 100 of each of the jig tie and then 200 of the ultims. So, ah, gotcha. I think they'll, uh, I think they'll sell pretty well. Yeah, hopefully so. Yeah, and they're. Mm -hmm. uh, it it did take. I, I'll just be honest. It took a minute for mine to break in, and I don't know if that's yeah, just because the oil, the oil yeah. kind of moves around, and you can even see there's a little bit of oil under the edge of this particular sketch, that, yeah. just a tiny bit. So I think it just kind of moved around, and so playing with it a little bit, it wore in after a few minutes. Uh, you'll see in my video, it was a little stiff and mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, I think it'll break in. And it already has, you yeah. can see it. I even noticed the jig ties. It's like QSP is using this kind of like grease, I guess is what you would call it. And I I've think already told that's them what, like, stop that's what that. uses to. Yeah. I, wish I was like, you guys are putting way too much on it and more oil. So yeah, right. I've already had that conversation um, with them. And, and they all, I, I, I've had this conversation with Kubi. I said, why do you put so much oil on them? And what they say is in transit, things get moist and they can blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, first of all, you're sealing them in a bag and you're putting silica in the bag. Right. Second of all, um, se second of all, you're sending me, you know, stainless steel. I, yeah. I don't know. What, what are we talking about? Right. And so I said, I like oil. I don't want them. I don't want them dry. Just don't like, yeah. you know, pour half the bottle on each knife. Mm hmm. Yep, so sure. yeah, I, I I don't know if they just don't understand or mm -hmm. or what, but it's it's interesting. But it guys, is. I will tell you, and I said this, um, these came the 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 um shoot the jig tie one and this came super sticky sharp. I don't mm -hmm. uh, I had um a titanium penguin and I don't remember it being uh, anywhere yeah. near. Matter of fact, I still have a uh, a twenty CV um, uh, Penguin XL, and yeah, I don't. It, it's never been this sharp, not once. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, I think this, something this like is a material really dialed down is their uh, hollow grind and blade edge. Good. Okay, so there was a question earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, I said jigged. And so what do you say again? <laughs> Jigged. Jigged. All right. Jigged so let's hand. have a vote in the chat. Uh, <laughs> is it jig dash id or is it J-I-G-G-E-D? Which is it? No, I think is Grandpa it always said jigged. Jig so that's why, that's why I'm J – Well, if that. Grandpa said it, then then <laughs> you, you, you have a license to forever mm -hmm. say jigged. That's fine. Um <laughs> That's hilarious. Just go jigged, mm. no jig it. Go both of the tenses both. <laughs> uh yes, sir, Sonny, Mr. TPK in the flesh. That is right. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but we're getting a lot of jigged votes here. So so uh if you guys don't know what one we're talking about, uh there are still are the gold ones left or gold gone? Yeah, uh, so both like gray and gold have been going back and forth, and I think I have roughly like thirty-two or thirty-three of each left. So okay, I'm pretty and happy. I can't with get it. it out of the box. It's wonderful. Good the job. First, uh, release of the the penguins, the jig tie penguins. It took about two and a half weeks to three weeks for them all to sell out. So I'm perfectly fine with how these are. Yeah, moving. no, no problem. And this, like I said, this came stiff. Okay, mm, and I have that. used this enough. This look at this. This thing is like a smooth operator now. Yep. Um, so I wouldn't worry much if you get one and it's a little stiff. They're going to break in quickly. Um, very quickly. If you watch uh, it, Lefty's disassembly video, he put skiffs in his and cleaned it all out. And it was like super smooth after that. Of this one mm -hmm. or the jigged one? Either uh, one. The jig. Yeah. The jig. Yeah. They're, I mean, and I, I like 
see, here's the thing. I, I immediately said to you when you asked me, do you want to see one of these and which one? And I'm like, gold, period. Mm -hmm. Because I, I love that you did something really new and different. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of gold jig. I haven't seen any gold jig knives. Yeah, I don't so think. that's what I was trying to think but, of, like what haven't or what hasn't you know people seen. And when I told QSP, I was like, well, let's go, you know, gold jig tie. And I figured, you know what? It's only 100. You know, I can sell 100 knives. And, uh, of course, it's the, the most popular one. So. <laughs> Yep. Whatever. Very cool. Yeah, because it's people like different stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Mike, uh, it, it try a little bit of oil on the bearings again. Uh it just it just takes a little while. Uh, mm -hmm. but mine definitely broke in very, very well. Yeah, and that's something I'm like I said, I'm, I'm and, working and with. By the yeah. way, right. I was just gonna say, by the way, some quality oil. Don't I mean that what they've mm -hmm. got in there is grease, so give it a little bit of KPL or even some of this goofy CDC uh, blueberry donut lube here. Uh, this stuff works great too. It would really does. So definitely. Oh, very cool. Jay Richard. Welcome, sir. Glad to have you here as well. Jay Armiz is also in the house. I'm clicking everywhere, but where I'm trying. All right. So here's what we're going to do, Austin. I, the, we're going to do a warm up giveaway. Okay. Cause I'm cold down here. And I said we're going to celebrate 18K tonight, and I meant it. Uh, we are definitely, uh, yes, who is that? Malcolm. Uh, so two, two discount codes at Traditional Pocket Knives, okay? So for this guy dropping on Friday and for that Jig tie Penguin that I just showed, uh, you can use, well, I put it away already, silly. Uh, you can use code KNIVESFASTTPK and get $5 off anything on the exclusives page. There you go. So either this guy or that guy, uh, you will be taken care of with $5 off. And then it, it, uh, Rosecraft Blades or the Ohio River Jacks, you can get $10 off uh, with code $10. I keep saying $10. 10% 10 off. Gosh, Austin, you're going to fire me soon, man. I keep screwing it up. 10% um, off with code KNIVESFAST10. Okay. So, yeah, there are two codes. All right. So, and there's your Dalika salute, Mr. Addicted to Blades. And, uh, yeah, you're not going to get any April Fool's jokes over here. I tried one earlier today on my <laughs> other live, and it went off like a lead balloon. I told everybody that uh, Blue Monday was going away, and starting next week it was going to be Orange Monday. And we're going to only carry – I'm going to sell all my blue knives. And I just couldn't keep a straight face. It did not work at all. <laughs> It was like 10 seconds before people were like, dude, right. April Fools. Yep. I'm like, yep. okay, fine. Uh, did not work. All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, guys, both giveaways tonight, uh, same thing. They are U.S. addresses only, and uh, you enter using the hashtag. So uh, I'm going to do just a, a smaller giveaway up front, and then we're going to do another one uh, down later. But we're going to make this hashtag uh, really easy for you guys and uh, go ahead and start entering, and Austin and I are going to keep talking, and then we will uh, draw us one of them their winners uh, here in a, a little bit. So uh, let's see if I can shrink that down. Nope, I can't. Uh, if it's me and you, that's all I got. So there we go. We'll leave that up for a minute. Hashtag TPK for traditional pocket knives, and uh, we will draw a winner for the first giveaway uh, and we'll show you what it is here in a few minutes. I got too much stuff everywhere, Austin. It's crazy. <laughs> Same here. Yep. Oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what? Here. What about? Uh, I, I asked you a few minutes ago, and and you, I, I think you thought you were getting off the hook, uh, but you're definitely not. Uh, are are yeah. there? Uh, are there other things coming up uh, that we should know about? Other uh, drop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. might be happening other hints things like that i don't know uh, yeah. oh so, uh, Kevin, rusty thank you buddy appreciate it uh and it looks like mike reese is back to being a member thank you very much all right go ahead austin i'm sorry i have about let's say uh 20 projects it seems with devo but uh <laughs> yeah i mean we get the, the nip slip coming up with devo almost um, we have got a second run of the lush Everybody wants the love. I hope Kevin hit you up about something with the nips the other night. We were we were having a conversation, so yeah, she better have hit you up. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Um, 
I have my third OEM that should be here. Hopefully, I, I hope before Blade Show, but it might be around that June time frame. And then I have a fourth OEM, which is going to be a cheaper version of a slip joint. It's going to be like stainless steel, uh, bone covers, uh, wood covers. Um, so I'm trying to hit the, uh, you know, I got my my Ohio River Jack, which is around the 125 area. Lake Champlain, a little bit nicer for 199 And I'm trying to hit like the $80, $90 uh, price range. Wow, so with I think bone those, and wood at 80 yeah. or 90 That sounds great. Yep. Yep. And I think the, I think I said 154 CM for the, the steel on, on the stainless. I, I, I absolutely love that steel. It's, it's funny in the budget realm. And again, I, everybody needs to understand. I'm not knocking on what I'm about to say. I am a, I am a 14 C 28 and lover, but I, I think sometimes because it's so old, mm-hmm. 154 CM gets the shaft. And I think I think 154 cm is actually quite a little bit better than 14 c28 in my opinion mm-hmm. as far as edge retention. Uh, I love that steel. I absolutely do. So mm-hmm. um, this, I, you know the thing is if we're making knives in it, there, there's not a really bad steel. Um, yeah. You know, D, it, I tell people all the time that don't like D2. I'm like D2 is not a bad steel. D2 is a freaking awesome knife steel Mm -hmm. it cuts Mm -hmm. like nobody's business it's just not corrosive resistant you know and uh that's that's definitely not ideal uh for a lot of people (laughs) so all right guys uh i'll put this up one more time and then we'll draw here in just a for a few minutes yeah so that sounds like a lot of projects and uh Mm -hmm. i still uh so i have i have a ace so just so you know, I'm one of these people with Tempest. I've got uh, things lined up for days. Mm-hmm. What I want to do next and next and next. And there is one that I've got circled that I want to go ahead and get CAD done on and probably prototypes. And then we need to talk. So mm-hmm. um, yeah. I've, I've got mm-hmm. one that's got Austin circled on it. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. That that could be a... Maybe. I just hadn't, hadn't really had... I don't know. I, I do... My, I'm not like Devo. Okay. I'm not doing a knife every five minutes. Mine are more (laughs) spread out. And so I usually try to keep most of them for myself and only end up selling a few to dealers. Mm -hmm. So that's why we haven't worked together before, but I definitely want to do something like that. Sounds Um, good to me. Yeah. So Troy brings up a very good point. And I think that's exactly with 154 and D2. I think that's the problem. Mm-hmm. And, and by the way, by the way, M390 suddenly everybody's bored with M390, which <laughs> yeah, is much. crazy. Yep. It's it's now S90V is the buzzword, and, that, and that's mm-hmm. fine. I love yeah. S90V, uh, but yeah, I think you're right. I think all of us have so much D2 in our collections. Mm-hmm. It's just like, do I have to have more I mean, of that? Queen Cutlery okay. started using D2 like in the 80s and 90s, and like growing up, that's what you know, Grandpa always sold. So that's what I was familiar with, and that's what everybody wanted. And now, like you said, you know, nobody wants D2. And by the way, everybody, everybody that's complaining about Rosecraft using D2, I have talked to Andy, and Andy is trying to move away from D2. Just, just He's got to rotate out of the patterns that he's already submitted and paid for and all that. So just uh, give him some time. Well, let's talk about Rosecraft for a minute. So mm-hmm. let, let's do that. Because I, I think um, now I, I will be very honest and say uh, – some of their moderns weren't really for me. Some of them were, were, were okay. And some of them weren't really for me, but I got to tell you this guy, if, if you ask me and, and I, I'm not his business partner or his business planner, he just needs to focus on these slip joints. These are uh, for the price he's selling them for. And for the finish he's getting on them. I, I think, you know, this, this just, Somebody could build a whole collection just off of their traditionals. You know, they're they're really nice. Um, I've got two on the way here right now, as a matter of fact. Yeah, so I, mean, I don't want to jump the gun, but Andy did say that he's he's going to start moving away from the modern uh, yeah. flipper knives, folding knives, and just straight going with uh, traditional Very cool. modern. That's, that's awesome. And it's not yeah. that they were bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not... 
they're not, they just weren't for me. They just, and, and I got, and the quality wasn't like, I, I feel like the quality on what you're holding right there. When you look at that back spring, I mean, I feel like that for the price you're paying for that, that's mm-hmm. a quality back spring. That, yeah. I mean, that the knife I mean, just looks. Yeah. Like, there's no gappings or there's no, you know, spaces, no gapping. Walk and talk is super nice. Blade edge is super nice. Yeah. So I've got Finish that one on the way from the lefty. Yeah, I've got that one on the way from lefty, and I bought a um, mm-hmm. the the gun stock from you. Uh, so That's I'm right. excited to to show the, some of those off. I I kind of you know not every pattern is for me, and he did a few in a row that just weren't for me. And I'm 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 a weirdo, so don't pay attention mm-hmm. to me. But mm-hmm. um, you know, I so I've really resonated with a couple of them recently, and especially the gun stock. I uh, can't mm-hmm. wait to check that out. But it's just, I just think they're they're a really great value, and we all knew Andy was the guy behind Rough Rider for a long time, and he mm-hmm. knows what he's doing with slip joints. And um, you know, I, I'm I'm just impressed with what he's doing for sure. Yep, me too. And from you, I mean, from a guy that grew up, like you said, with queen cutlery and everything else, I mean, they measure mm-hmm. up well, really well. Yeah, they yeah, sure do. Well, let's just uh, pick one. So of I, got, I got a GC right here, and then a Rosecraft. So let's yep. uh, put the back springs together. I mean, look at that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, yes, China, USA. So I, I right. get, I get that argument. Yeah, and of course you're going to get the price increase with the GEC but just for that reason. One, one, I don't know what they are, 145, 150 for the right. banana. And then for the Rosecraft, I mean, you get, I think, 60 right. bucks. So let's, and, and let's, let's just talk about it. Either mm-hmm. way, okay, so unless I misunderstand how pinning happens, somebody's hand making those, whether it's in Pennsylvania or in China, right? I mean, those yep. are, those Pretty are being much. made one at a time and hand peened together. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just, I, you know, th- it's impressive. Yeah. Every time uh, now, Austin, I, I have my new favorite GEC. I bought this or traded a guy for it. I don't mm-hmm. know if I've shown you this yet, but I'm sure you've seen it. You probably had one and sold yeah. it, but, I, I, or had them, yeah. but this is the, uh, the Royal blue. Yeah. Uh, Love that. Uh, shoot. English Jack. Thank you. Why can mm-hmm. I never remember? Uh, but just <laughs> ridiculously beautiful, man. This thing. Now, there is, by the way, uh, there is gapping. No, I'm just kidding. There's not. That, that's the liner. <laughs> I know better than that. <laughs> Ooh, I was just going to be. I was going to be like, look. No, just kidding. Uh, fantastic knife. I uh, When I saw this one, he, he sent it to me for review. And then like three weeks later, he's like, you want to trade me for it? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you want? You know, mm-hmm. it was like, yeah, this is this is happening. So, hey, Bluminati, what's up, man? Thank you for your membership. And that went to uh, who did it go to? Thomas McDonald, welcome back, sir. I think you've been a member before, so thank you very much. Dang, look at that, man. That's beautiful. So, very, very cool. Uh, thank you very much. I see Ed Harrison and Big Doug in the chat as well. Very cool. Thank you guys for your support. So which which one is this that we're looking at here? You said it's the banana. Uh, this is the pocket <laughs> carbon. Uh, gotcha. Very cool. I don't know if you can read that, but yeah. Oh, it is banana bone. Okay. <laughs> hey, you probably wonder why I was saying bone. banana. Okay. <laughs> I just thought you submitted because it's been, it looked like a banana. So I'm like, right. okay, I'll go with it. Uh, uh, very cool. I like that. Right. I um I have so many that you've had recently that I've almost bought, but I'm just I'm trying to stay focused these days with my purchasing mm-hmm. on on it's things tough. that that I really um you know I know we're gonna do well with with reviews and mm-hmm. uh, my collection. I still collect, don't get me wrong. And a lot of the stuff I end up reviewing ends up staying here as collect collection that I buy, but mm-hmm. um, I'm trying to think of what's going to do well with a review too. Is that a banana bone in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, yep. 
Thank you, Jay Richard. I appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. I, I, uh, I, I have, I have, see, I have things in, in the works. And when I read comments like this, I want to say things that I have in the works, but I'm not ready to say things that are in the works. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to say anything right now, but let's just say we're not done with the jet stream. We'll just say that. Uh, hey, there's that big red guy. You ever heard of him? What's up? What's up? Mm -hmm. uh, all right. We're going to put this up one more time, guys. If you haven't entered this giveaway, do it now. This is the first of two tonight. What's up, Cheeto? And we will draw. Now, let me tell you, after I just said what I said, Austin, this is a, 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 a terrible thing to have said. And now I re remember what I'm giving away tonight. But anyway, you got some Knives Fast and Tempest swag here. Uh, you have a through night. This this is actually a really cool tool. It's a um, keychain uh, knife. It's got this little carabiner type thing that goes on your, and then it's um, it, it's a uh, just just a little yeah. cool. um, tanto blade, but it is sharp as crap. I mean, mm -hmm. I have cut many things with it. Very cool, Malcolm. Thank you. So that'll be in the giveaway, and then the knife after what I said, uh, <laughs> is a Rosecraft Mohawk. Uh, so, which, which is of the ones I saw, the Mohawk was, was probably one of my favorites. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, and this one is very smooth. Um, and so that is what we're giving away in this first giveaway tonight. Um, and nothing wrong with that, uh, at all. So, uh, if you haven't entered yet, do it now. Cause we're about to draw in about 15 seconds on the first giveaway of the evening and then stick around because we're giving away something TPK exclusive at the end. So uh, that's all I'm going to say. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to win again if you already have one <laughs> or you can have another one. I mean, come on. Uh, good to see you, Ed. All right, guys, here we go in five, four, three, two, one bam, a hundred entries. Very cool that we have a good percentage of entries tonight, so that's cool. Good, uh, by the way, I already said this earlier, but U.S. addresses only. Delaney, very cool. Delaney, I need you uh, to tell me you're here, first of all. Congratulations, <laughs> legend. Okay, I got it, I got it. All right. Are you here, Delaney? Let me know you're here, and I'll give you your instructions. What did they say? Corn-fed experience. Hello, <laughs> Delaney. Uh, send me an email, knivesfast at gmail.com, and I will pack this up and get it headed your way, all right? So knivesfast at gmail.com. So I'm going to write down here, Rosecraft Delaney. All right, so send me that email as soon as you can, and I'll get it off uh, by tomorrow, probably, most likely. You'll probably get a tracking number before the evening's over, just like Austin would. All right, guys, very cool. Um, so, guys, what are your questions? Wow, I just moved us. That was cool. Let's do this again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, guys, what are, what are your questions uh, for Austin? What are your suggestions? I Some of you earlier today in my comments – we're making suggestions of things you'd like to see. So let's yep. let's Let see hear. those. Yeah, so <clears throat> like I said earlier, with QSP, I'm kind of working on this uh, ultimate penguin design. Uh, we're okay. going to reshape the blade. Uh, let's see what else we're going to do. Make it – some are going to be left-handed. Um, make Ooh. the clips where it can hold like a wire clip and just like a regular milled clip. And then that milled or, – or both clips can be you know on either the left or right side. So kind of work on this whole, uh, like the ultimate, uh, penguin. So very we'll cool. See. We'll see. Very cool. Mm -hmm. hey, welcome Delta. And Jim says he needs more Barlow's. I think his Barlow is what mm -hmm. he was trying to say. I would, mm -hmm. I would agree with that. Now suggestion from KC, a follow up to the Lake Champlain, a little bit smaller and I could have a pair together. Now that mm -hmm. would be very cool. Uh, yep. I'm sure you're That's already thinking working. of all this stuff. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Jay Richard is asking, uh, is the Penguin your favorite knife model? Or is oh, it just goodness. one you think resonates well? Or 
I have a lot of favorite knife models. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, like the penguin is just uh it's just so easy to use in my in my opinion. I yeah. mean that's why it's so, it's so popular. But yeah, to talk about the blade shape, so obviously, I mean, I, don't, I think it's always been a, a sheep's foot in the penguin. So we're going to keep mm -hmm. the sheep's foot design, add just the slightest of belly, and then add a pretty good uh, fuller right here, just like the um, just like the lush, in a way. Oh, okay. That way, it can be figure flicked. It can be flicked. Woo! Sudden, flipper. I might delete the flipper. I don't know. Some people love the flipper. I like tabs. that. If you put the slot, I would personally, I would say delete the flipper, but that's delete. just me. Okay. Yeah. I know I'm not, I'm not everybody. And a lot of people will argue momentarily mm -hmm. here. Well, it's tough. Cause like, you know, some people will absolutely hate it. It's too pointy, but then some people will say, you know, it's perfect. I love it. That's the only you know, opening I use to open my penguin. So, yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, so Richard, mm -hmm. Richard brings up a point. Are there people in the chat that don't have a penguin? <laughs> or have never had one. I guess I should. You at say. least got to have like that thirty-two dollar version. Yeah, exactly. Uh, flipper love. There you go. Troy, tree stab and Troy loves the flipper uh, for sure. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Um, do I have? Let me say. There's another. What's this one? I've got in the giveaway drawer here. I've got, yep, this is one that I was saying. I think these were like 30 bucks. This is the yeah. the burlap, kind of burlapy micarta uh, mm -hmm. penguin. I think these were like 32 or something like that. Yeah, 32. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, and, and again, these are flat ground and they're, um, shoot, what steel are D2. So, but mm -hmm. still, they were, they were great knives for what they were absolutely mm -hmm. still are i heard this was the first time that qsp has ever done a hollow grind i don't know if that's true or not. i don't know if Caviso has done to, now done on before, one of not. their knives i would say yes they have done hollow yeah. for like lefty for devo uh but i i think i agree i don't think i've ever seen a qsp mm -hmm. knife with hollow yeah. um I don't know. We'd have. To, I'm having David on in a couple of weeks, so um, I will ask him. I don't know exactly when he's coming on yet, though, because he's waiting for information on the drop uh, when when the new drops are happening, and then he's going to come on. So uh, we're going to get him on. I like having David on. But uh, yeah, bought my ultimate. exclusive. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say he bought a uh, something from uh, where'd it go? Kevin Smith. There it is. Exclusive green tie penguin from TPK. Cool. Very cool. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, so the ultimate uh, penguin design. I mean, I'll probably bring back some kind of jigging as well, but I'm looking into uh, like fat carbon dark matter. That just seems to be, oh, well, obviously it's popular, but it's kind of, it's not so flashy. And to me, the, oh, the whole dark carbon is uh, pretty just dark matter is, is just beautiful. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't even think of that, JB. Duh! By the way, JB just messaged me over here, and he wants you to do more Ultim. And as a matter of fact, he was asking, uh, could you <laughs> do right. jigged, jigged Ultim? Yes. Uh, he wants some – right, JB? I don't know. Could we jig Ultim? Uh, that would be kind of – come on. I don't think we can. I don't think – I've seen it milled, but I don't know if you could jig it. Yeah. I've, I've seen a lot of it. matter of fact, the uh, – my design, the uh, Kubi Dust Devil, Kubi did the uh, yeah. textured milling on, on the Ultim. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got lines, and it's really nice, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I almost wish it was two-way instead of one-way, because it does, you know, with it being diagonal like that, it makes it a little yeah. bit, but once you're gripped, it ain't, it ain't going anywhere. Um, JB, did I get did I get your comment right? I'm... More Ultim, right? <laughs> there you go, JB. Uh, I, th I think JB needs that in a poster. That's right. Uh, just hang on his wall. He always I'm says just, you're like, his I'm guy. Finch. He always says you're his Finch guy. I wonder, yeah. wonder if he's still going to speak to you with the uh, with the Ultim. I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll I don't see. know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> yep. We have five hedgehogs. Wow. Oh, man. Very cool, right. Ryan. 
<laughs> all right, all right, man. He's Appreciate selling it, man. them out all by himself. Uh, what did that say? A fixed penguin? Have they done one of those? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. A Lexan on a penguin? Yeah, it would probably sell. I've seen people do a Lexan now, so JB's not answering. I, I think he's done one. <laughs> he's out. He's yeah. like, all right, I'm, I had he's enough. Like, I'm, he's I'm like, all right, too much of this <laughs> ultimate talk. <laughs> yep. Uh, I agree with JB. Anything done in Ultim would be better. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly that we're all quoting JB now. I love it. Uh, mm -hmm. Now that's an interesting thought. I, I I've only seen a couple knives do this with the removable flipper. Yeah. The uh, sheepdog is the one that comes to mind. The Kaiser mm -hmm. sheepdog had a removable with just one screw and it was sort of slotted yeah. in. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it is a cool idea. Mm-hmm. I need a garbage can made of all them. There you go, Steve. That's awesome, man. Lots of yeah. never had a penguins in the chat. I have seen that. Try one sooner or later. Yeah. Very cool. Find the one that's right for you. There's There hasn't been enough variants yet. Just keep waiting. They'll do more. Yep. Uh, can you do, can do like O-Knife and call it pay? Yeah, <laughs> so... Apparently there's different <laughs> JV says as long as you market it as P yellow. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. That's what he's doing, man. Uh so yeah, there there are different variants of the material. There's peak and pay and ultim. Uh so I don't I, I'm not a chemical scientist or whatever, so I can't tell you the difference. But they're definitely, uh, there are three versions of it, apparently. A toilet seat. <laughs> uh, I think Ultim looks good with black under it. I do, too. The ones I've seen, like the, um, shoot, I cannot remember the knives that I had in that had black liners uh, underneath it's it. And that, that did look pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, thank you, David Blade. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Rule number nine, not Blade number nine. Uh, smoked Ultim that looks good. Yeah, so I've, I've seen, seen folks using that recently. Uh, mm. Shoot, Demco is using it, and it just looks brown. Um, mm. yeah. So, yeah, very very interesting. There's your Dalika Salute 28 months, David. That's awesome, man. Tri-State is the pr Prince of P. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> he, he loves that stuff. Uh, Lexan needs more use, yeah. Ginger Fisher, I mean, like I said, I've not seen a lot of it yet. I would buy a fixed blade, yeah, chance. I think I would, mm -hmm. too. What you got, Keith? I've never had a penguin, never had a knife in Ultim, never purchased a knife from T <laughs> TP. What should I do? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give him his Dalika salute, Austin, but you can just read there it the right act if you'd like. Right, right. <laughs> Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. You you only really need to fix one of those, and it's the third one. We don't care if you get a penguin or, or Ultim, but mm -hmm. you got to get something from TPK at some point. Get a uh, exclusive and use the TPK code. Yeah. Nice, fast use TPK. the codes, man. There you go. Uh, I don't like black under the ult. It makes it look like pee when you're dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? My oh, so you're gonna? Are they soaking wet? If they're soaking wet, you should put them on the porch. He, he's bringing waders down here after being in a river. So, you gotta answer Tim. <laughs> Uh, I have not or ignored every comment you've made tonight. I read some <laughs> earlier. You smarty pants. Oh, come on. All right. What did I miss? I keep answering his questions, but he keeps. Oh, gosh. All right. We're going to go up. We're going to find a couple Tims up here. We're going to see. Oh, here we go. Uh, PEI is just referencing the polyethermide that it's made from. Okay. All right. Polyetheramide. Is that poly? Polyetheramide. Etheramide. Okay. Fine. All right, Tim. Sorry. Jeez. There's only a thousand comments coming across at once. 
Rene Ramon, member for two months. Any chance we'd see a penguin with a crossbar, studs, or a mm. hole, and a flipper? Hmm. I don't know about that. Member for two months. Not a big. I think he's thinking guy. about it. You're not a big not crossbar bad. guy. <laughs> there is your Dalika salute, Rene. Not he's not a big crossbar guy. You know, um, I I like I said, uh, if if I choose. Um, crossbars are not at the top of my list either, mm -hmm. but yeah. it is what it is. Strike. <laughs> Tim's Thank going you, on strike. Appreciate you, man. All right, Tim. I read that one right, my mo, me mo, mo mo. All right, it's going on, st on strike. Yep. Okay, what did? That's why people says pay or p or. Whatever it is. Okay. Gotcha. Because the polyethylamide. Okay. I don't know where peak comes from, though. There's. I saw people the other day calling it peak. P-E-E-K. What company was it? Uh, I think it was Best Tech. It was calling it peak. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time. Um, oh, my goodness. Guys, I read more comments than lefties ever read. <laughs> so don't, don't, let's not go That's there. true. I'll Come give on. you that one. <laughs> good grief i'm trying here mm -hmm. oh all right pivotal have it's, a good hey, have a good it's one tough to have a conversation and then you know keep reading the comments and you know you gotta make the conversations quick so i know you and i are talking and mm -hmm. i'm trying to read their stuff <laughs> and now tim's tim's just throwing shade at me and uh i'm trying so, yeah. is different okay here's some more questions I'm all yep. about to what else you guys got <clears throat> TPK is awesome. That's not a question, but mm -hmm. it works. Thank you, man. It's good. Yeah, I mean, if you have five hedgehogs, that, that sounds like you definitely like them. Mm -hmm. Name one comment of mine you've read, KC. At this one right here, Randy. <laughs> uh, okay. So peak is polyetherketone. So it's a little bit different. Okay. All right. Thank you. I read it, Tim. Well, Javon doesn't even try to read the comments. <laughs> Come on, Rusty. You know, I, I love watching him and uh, Lefty just go back and forth. <laughs> yep. It's funny. Yeah, they're 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 crazy. All right. So Tactical mm -hmm. Terry's trying to help me out here. Polyether <laughs> ether ketone. Okay. P E E K. Okay, got it. Thank you for splitting it up. And helping me. Okay, here you go. Slip point, slip joint with mammoth bone. Okay, so here's the question, Austin. Austin, do we know how difficult is it to get mammoth bone? I haven't seen mammoth on a knife since. Gosh. Thank you, Terry. 16, 17, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. I have a Chad Morgan from like seeing that a lot. I do, I do like knives with bone, though. I mean that mm -hmm. the oh, yeah. GC I have with the blue, blue bone, and that you know I love knives with some bone. Yeah. Well, it takes a, a good finish I, to it. Yeah, it does, and it seems to hold up pretty well, which is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you can't Unless break you it, I guess. Concrete, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Done that a few times. That uh, that shield's pretty cool on that one. Mm -hmm. It is. Pins and pin blades says bone is his favorite handle material. Very cool. Okay. Bark River offers mammoth regularly, mostly molar. That's right. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Bark River has some cool handle materials. No doubt in the world. They're uh, mainly fixed blades, aren't they? I think. They're what? Yeah. They're all fixed blades. I don't think they have they ever done a folder, anybody? I don't think so. Seems mostly for South African customs. Yeah, I got you. Randy says, I uh, love my Dragon's Eye Hedgehog. One of my best cool. knives. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah, the Hedgehog is mm. unbelievably good. I mean, just it's it's really good, and it's quite the cutter. Mm -hmm. uh, do I chance, or does Austin? Austin's been showing the uh, the Carver. There, I got the pocket card um, right here. Yeah, I don't really have a whittler knife um, myself. I should, but that's definitely a whittler he's got right there. 
Got the Warney blade there. Very nice shape in the hand and everything. Yep. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of GC made a whole bunch of these and uh bone uh orange delrin, I think, Mercarta. Uh so I'll have a GC release. Uh probably not this week, but next. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing is figuring out when to drop stuff so you're not dropping stuff mm -hmm. on top of dropping stuff. That's that sounds mm -hmm. like a lot of fun as well. <laughs> you know, you gotta line up like Jack Wolf, you gotta line up GC, oh, Finch, uh Devo. So <laughs> it's getting kind they of they do have for, a folder. Uh, they they do have a folder. That's right. I knew that. Andrew showed it to me. A folder. Okay, is there a possibility of Cooper Cutlery TPK collab in the future? Not much news. Well, they just had the um, – uh, Byron, they just had a knife, right? The uh, What was that one called they just had? Didn't they just have a knife recently with you? Uh, well, I had a uh, Cooper release. They made yeah. – um, a few what well, uh, not not an exclusive i just meant no he said not much news from them lately i was just saying they had a yeah, new, a i new mean there's only them. four or five of them um i talked to matt almost daily or every other day they're doing they're working on knives it's just obviously they have five employees so you know they can't push out gc and whatever but yeah but they're really yeah. good, uh, doing good i mean from from june of 2022 compared to what they're putting out now it's pretty good all right, we want to see the the backspring again one more time on that Whittler, Austin. Oh, yeah. I believe does the main blade have its own backspring? Nope, nope, nope. it nope. does not. It is shared. Yeah, I can't even see that two springs back there. Now so the, it's just like the English Whittler or whatever that uh, mm -hmm. with the shared, but that one's canted though. That's that's straight. So yeah, that's interesting. It is a little different. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the two other blades share the second spring, probably. Well, I don't know. So it's got two springs. So does it is he's asking, is the main blade independent and the two smaller blades share spring? So the main blade right. shares the two. And then the two smaller springs uh, each each have one. Okay. Got it. Got it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Cooper. Cooper's interesting to me, but I didn't realize they only had five employees. That's super interesting. Those. Uh, I actually was really interested in that last one they dropped and almost mm -hmm. grabbed one. Um, mm -hmm. It was just too slow. Um, yeah, there weren't, a, so weren't a lot of them. They're, they're not quite yeah. GC level. Um, you know, I'm always honest about that. Uh, the sharpening, their sharpening needs to improve a little bit. But honestly, like I said, yeah. from March of 2020, 20, 22 to now i mean they've made huge improvements and uh and this last run was very close to uh gc in my opinion so. very cool hey, good things to come yeah I, I i it's good seeing other blood in there other people trying mm -hmm. to 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 make more knives i mean the thing is is that um you know i think a lot of us have suddenly found ourselves getting into slip joints so it's good to have, mm -hmm. have options yeah. you know so uh, that is really cool. Hello, Donnie. What's up? Uh, all right. Other questions for our friend Austin here. We're going to move towards the other giveaway here in just a few minutes. Uh, but I definitely want to give you guys a chance to ask any questions uh, you may have before I move on down that road. So if you have anything, definitely now is the time. Shoot. To ask, I'm trying to multitask over mm -hmm. here. Never works. I got a whole bunch of, Never uh, works. A whole bunch of exclusives coming with QSP. Uh, awesome. She's got Hedgehog exclusive coming. Uh, my third OEM, fourth OEM. I just submitted my fifth OEM. So a lot of good things coming nice. this year. Um, that Dang. really should take us all the way up to. Uh, I'm excited, man. That's awesome, man. Uh, Anasso asked in. Um, I guess he's asking both of us. Uh, yeah, have you noticed how? I would think um, they're probably pretty similar, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously the hedgehog has that full hollow all the way up to the spine. Yeah. Where this one, yep, obviously goes to the flat grind. True. Good point. Good point. 
but that one cuts like a mad dog. Yeah. I mean, it cuts very really impressed well. with the, uh, the cutting on this. I mean, like, like I said earlier, QSP is really getting down their uh, blade edges and their hollow grinds, and I'm pretty impressed. Yep. So they're doing good. Hey, Brandon, uh, Kathleen's asking, what's your favorite hedgehog? I know what he's going to say. Who, me? Or Yeah, come on, man. Uh, oh, gosh. It's the, the jig tie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, first. you wouldn't let me down if you said anything else. And then after that, oh. um, probably Halloween night, the orange, white, well, and black. Well, so he's done C. Reisner brand knives. They're not branded that way. They're They're just branded... Ohio River Jack and yeah, I mean if you go to the website, um, that's what I have knives under C Reisner brand. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, once once the Lake Champlain hit, I was like, well, I gotta I gotta figure out how to categorize how categorize these. So yeah. <laughs> you can just go with uh um uh C Reisner Cutlery C R K and just go up against Chris Reeve knives mm -hmm. yeah, and you, you can, go. you know, yeah. just just take the C R K moniker over. That's right. I like right. it. I like it. All right. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, no, just don't, don't do that, please. Uh, <laughs> I, I think there are a short list of people I wouldn't want to, to play with their toys. And I think uh, Mr. Reeve and Mr. Uh, Hinderer might mm -hmm. be two of them. Uh, maybe <laughs> Mr. Medford too. I just stay mm -hmm. away. I'm good. You go over there. <laughs> uh Jigged jimping. No, we do not want jigged jimping. What, what is that? What, that would be interesting. You know, uh, speaking of uh, Medford, I'm not going to talk about it by any means. Um, but it's just when I first picked up Medford like two years ago, they would sell and almost sell out right away. But now it's like the last six to eight months. They're just slow movers. And um, I mean, I don't really market them too too much anyways, just because they're so expensive. Um, right. And maybe, maybe that's why. But I, I, it's just uh. always – Curious how I don't know. I'd, I'd love to hear what some of the people say yeah. in the chat as to why Medford's kind of lost some of his shine. I think, I think he's like anybody now that he has a certain group of collectors. Yeah, uh, that just buy everything he he does, and mm -hmm. a lot of people don't like him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, I don't know if you were there when he did some of his antics at Blade Show, and um, yeah, I was there. I was there. Uh, no, I'm not doing that either, freak show. I'm I'm good. I just stay away from everybody. I don't. I'm not picking on anybody. So I'm good. <laughs> okay. And Jeremy's just gonna put it straight out there for us. Uh, yeah. okay. yeah. Tell us how you really feel, man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, Malcolm makes a really good point, and I think Austin could probably vouch for this. I think everything is slowed yeah. down a little, and maybe his. Mm -hmm him being who he is and being very upfront about what he says yeah. probably shades mm -hmm. him a little bit more than everybody else. So well, I've noticed uh, uh, knives like under 150, they're, they're still moving really well, but if you're hitting like over 200s, I mean that, that I can absolutely tell you that uh, knives around that price range. Has I agree. Slowed down. That's, I mean, that's, that's the entire reason. And, by the way, I think you, I, you, myself, and Kevin from Devo could have conversations about this. We all strive really yeah. hard to competitively price our knives. And the mm -hmm. reason for that is, I mean, come on, guys. Two years ago, you probably wouldn't have found something like this with S90V, an inlay contoured scales titanium that is milled for 200 bucks. And it's just knowing what it takes to sell things right now. It's, yeah. you know, and being a smaller company, you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're trying to stick your nose into a market where, um, you know, people are selling knives like this for three fifty and $400, you know? Uh, and yeah. I'm just, I'm just, that's, that's the reason I'm doing it that way. So maybe, we'll say some, the last... by the way, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, man. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, you've seen Jake Hoback. Uh, who mm -hmm. was selling knives like crazy. And again, he had his controversy. Mm -hmm. I get it. But now he's yeah. slashed his prices in half. I mean, mm -hmm. in half. Um, so I yeah. think at some point Medford and mm -hmm. some of these others are going to have to just realize they can't, they're not right. now 
obviously Hinder drops them and they're gone in five seconds. So, mm -hmm. um, but, but um, you know, some of them are just going to have to realize they're going to have to drop, drop their prices. Yep. It's just the Pretty way much. it is. But go I ahead. I'll say uh, over the last two years, I mean, I've built a very strong following and uh, part of it is just really good customer service. Like you guys all know, I try to ship out ASAP. I, I inspect all my knives and I will say that I'm extremely blessed to have such a good following and I mean, every order, I mean, you guys see on Instagram, the label printers just going off with orders. Um, a lot of them is Rosecraft, my own exclusives. Um, I mean, I build up quite a, quite a good collection of exclusives. So I'm pretty proud about that. <laughs> I mean, I think, oh, father, you've said it well. And I think a lot mm -hmm. of people feel that way. Yeah. And, and again, I don't necessarily disagree with everything he says, I, I, I do disagree with some of it, but well, and if you listen to his, what he wants, but there's a cost to doing that. There's a cost yeah. to putting your politics out there. If you listen to his uh, lives or his his rants, like he he is uh, very knowledgeable and he knows knives. Very. And he know he's very, he's very passionate, and I respect that passion passion one hundred percent. But I can definitely see where he definitely rubs. You know, people the wrong way and makes them a little mad and all that. So, and Asa, don't you worry, there'll be one at some point. I'm just, I like I said, mm -hmm. I'm still trying to get my feet under me. I'm not like Lefty. I've I've literally done a total of four knives now, and the fourth one's in production. So I'm not like Kevin, who's got like 12 models and <laughs> 32. You know, some someday I'll be there. I'm just trying to trying to, to get my feet under me and get things where I want them. And then I'll start working with exclusives with dealers. I just haven't gotten there yet. Just trying to get there. Thank you, Malcolm. I appreciate it, man. We'll be shipped out tomorrow. ASAP. Very cool. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, everybody, um, you know, the thing is, I think people are being, um, there's the, first of all, I'll also say this. Okay. Backing, backing up for a second. Mm -hmm. Sales are down a little bit, but there are more options right now. There's more stuff dropping. There's more handle materials. Mm -hmm. There's more options. So I think it's also tougher because people are being more particular about what they're spending their money on because, you know, yeah. there's, there's more coming. Um, and so they know they, I, I, I mean, that's kind of the way I feel about it. You know, I felt mm -hmm. kind of bad for the crispy donut community guys not meeting their Kickstarter today. Uh, but it's mm -hmm. tough in that price range they were working in. I mean, they were what 350, yeah, right. um, beautiful knife, well made, and I'm sure you know it's best tech, so that's kind of the price you got, you know, mm -hmm. kind of got to yeah. do if you're doing a best tech, but it's it's yeah. tough, man. Um, that I, Rusty, I look, I, you, if somebody starts copying my designs, you're going to see some anger and crap as well. Okay. There's I, a lot of time and not, a lot of passion. Yeah, that goes I will not discourage anyone for doing that, for losing mm -hmm. their mind over someone stealing their designs. So if that's what he's doing, I'm on, I'm absolutely on board with, with ripping people for stealing designs for sure. Um, yeah, less money. As the test case says, there's actually less nowadays, less money for him. Yeah, I get it, man. Yeah, Kickstarter's tough, man. It's it's uh, it's tough. Yeah, um, I really never, uh, I don't know, experimented with the, the program. Um, yeah. It's well, just, it's an uh, all or nothing thing. And so what I don't yeah. like about that is, here's the thing. So, Austin, when I start a pre-order, sometimes those pre-orders will go a couple a month or two. Mm -hmm. Like uh, with the with the jet stream, they went like it, it went the whole time they were in production mm -hmm. and um three three months. And my circumstances from start to finish were different. So if I was doing a Kickstarter rather than a pre-order, I wouldn't have been able to order because I wouldn't have got the money unless it mm -hmm. fully funded. Whereas with a pre-order, I mean I can decide, okay, my expenses are covered. The whole run's not mm -hmm. covered, but my expenses are covered. I'll just go for it right here. And, and mm -hmm. you know, I've done that three times now where I've ordered the knives when I'm just barely covered. 
um, yeah. rather than waiting for the whole project to be funded. And it's just, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's a tough, <laughs> exactly, Therese Davitroy. I think, Devo, did you see Kevin's uh, jet stream ripoff, his Airstream, where he just took uh, a jet stream and stuck a Devo sticker on it? Because no. uh, long story, but there's <laughs> nice. long story, but there's a YouTuber. I'm not going to mention his name because I've robbed oh. feathers. There's a YouTuber <laughs> that has put out uh, some knives. Mm -hmm. Says he started a knife company, and basically what they are is Savivis with his logo on the pivot. And so he's probably teamed up with Savivi, um, mm -hmm. and he's branding. You know what what they call. You know, what do they call that? It's there's a name for it, but it's yeah. like white box branding, you know, kind of. Right. And so they're they're branding it and he's calling it his knife company. But everybody knows it's a Savivi Praxis. I mean, you look yeah. at it. It's a <laughs> so when we were joking about it, Kevin comes out with this video where he, he shows the Tempest gesture. And he says, guys, this is our best design yeah. yet. It's a and sure. Tigo <laughs> Airstream and he has a big, big uh, logo, huge <laughs> sticker on the pivot. It's hilarious. Yep. <laughs> um so yeah you carried your your airstream today that's awesome man uh yeah i look my my problem tim was the fact that he said that i started a knife company if he had just said i've teamed up with x company or i've teamed up with a company he doesn't even have to name them mm -hmm. i've teamed up with a company they have designs and they're allowing me to brand them and here's what they are but don't stay used you worked on it for months. I mean, that makes it sound like he was designing knives. So I've yeah. worked on it for nine or 10 months. And now here we are. With, and just don't just be honest. Just come out and say, I look, I'm, you know, cause he's actually a, a pew pew channel. He's not even a, you know, he does mm -hmm. knives, but he's more of a pew pew channel. And I'm like, just, <laughs> you know, if you're coming over here, just be respectful. Just that. Yep. That's all I'm asking. Uh, the Ultimate Penguin is 150, Keith, and you can use yep. my code uh, NiceFastTPK for five dollars off for 145. Yeah, and we have a rewards program, so use that. Uh, you yep. sign up for, you get five bucks off uh, each order placed. You get four percent back in uh, blade bucks, so it's pretty good. I mean, a lot of people are using the program, and I love it. So that's correct, Michael. Yes, Mr. Reisner. Clarence Reisner was my grandfather, uh, the past Reisner. president of the NKCA National uh, Knife uh, Collectors Association, and uh, an incredible man. I and didn't even know that. That is cool. Yeah. I really need to do like a uh, like a video recap of his of his life and and all that. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I keep wanting to do something like that with my dad. It doesn't really fit mm -hmm. on my channel. In your case, it does. But I've always wanted to just do something. My dad was was mm -hmm. somebody, you know, my dad, like I said, World War II, the whole thing. And mm -hmm. just, yeah, there's Tim's put up the info for you guys. Thank you, Thanks, Tim, Tim, for doing that. There you go. And uh, you can use that same code uh, for um, the Jigtie Penguin as well and any other exclusives that mm -hmm. are still up there. So yep. uh, on the exclusives page, I should say. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, that, that's cool. I mean, when you said about your, your grandfather and the Lake Champlain, the ship and all that, yeah. I mean, that would be a really cool video if you could pull that off and, oh, yeah, and really sure. just kind of tell his story. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. I, and I'd love to hear more that you and I've talked on here before about, yeah. you know, him, I, I guess he must've just been into knives and then just started, mm -hmm. uh, making, having a store, you know, that's pretty yeah, cool. He, he just started, uh, Collecting here and there, and then started going to shows and uh, started collecting uh, more and more knives, and then selling them, and got involved with uh, like German Eye Brand, uh, Queen, Chet Morgan, and went with there. Went I will never, there. I will not confirm or deny Tree Stab and Troy, but but that is funny. <laughs> uh, any chance to see more GEC Urbans anytime soon? Well, I don't know how much uh, Urban Jacks. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I think so. I have no idea. I think they made yeah. well. They made yeah. They made a run early this year, or yeah, last year. But I love that That's pattern. All up to them, unfortunately. See it for a while. Yeah, we love backpack for sure, man. We're all praying for him that he gets things straight and um, have some some struggles for sure. So, okay. My original question is: 
If Austin could explain the actual company name, uh, how that breaks down. Oh, okay. So you're saying how that breaks down the, with the official name of the knife company too. I hear what you're saying. Okay. So gotcha. how you, how you want to address that? <laughs> I think I'm going to answer it correctly. So C. Reisner, so Clarence Reisner was my grandpa, obviously. Um, he formed uh, C. Reisner Cutlery in 1974. And then as I grew older, around high school time, um, we created him shattenmorgan.com, clarencereisner.com, and C. Reisner Cutlery.com. And years before he passed in 16, you know, I told him eventually – I'm going to take all three websites and combine them into one website. And at that time, I, I didn't know it was going to be traditional .com, but um, that's just kind of the name I kind of came up with. And that's what I did. So traditional .com really started, started out as three different web websites merged into one. And I sold, uh, gosh, I sold Chat Chat Morgan's uh, Queens, Queen city, uh, Indian head knives, German eye brand. I mean, I, I sold wow, much everything okay. that he had for many years. So I think I think that answers the question. Um, yeah, that is, trying, that's a really cool explanation. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And, and you know, a website like Traditional Pocket Knives. I mean, it's super clear as to what's going to be on there. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Derek, happy birthday on yeah. Thursday. Very cool, man. Sometimes I wonder if I've you know shot myself in the foot with now carrying and designing folding knives. But right. I, like you, I, I think people see traditionalpocketknives.com and they, they think of me, they think of Brian or they think of my grandpa. Um, I think I've done a very good job of establishing I'm more than just traditional pocket knives, that I'm, I'm modern flippers and modern, you know, slip joints and, and whatnot. I think it's, look, it's, yeah. it's fine, man. I mean, if you think about mm -hmm. it, this is not a traditional pocket knife, but it no. has a very <laughs> traditional blade to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. it, it's all it's all in the same vein, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, yep. but there's nothing traditional about PP. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> right. You know, I, over the years I've learned people care more about you as a person and how you run your business. And they don't, they don't care what you sell. They don't care what your name is or what the website name is, what your business name is, as long as they know you as a person. And that's what I guess is important to me. Real quick, before we get to Jim, he says, that's super helpful. Thanks for explaining. So the latest iteration of the family mm -hmm. business has started with C. Reisner yeah. Cutler. Yep, oh. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, Austin, what happened to Chef Field Knives? Any idea there? Oh, gosh. What did happen to him? I don't know, man. I can't keep track of any of this stuff. My, gra my grandpa's friend would know. Um, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but uh, I'll hit you up and – I'll get you a, you an you an answer because I'm pretty sure I know what happened to him, but I don't want to say something that's yeah. I'm gonna be careful. Yeah, I got you. And oh, father brings up a good point. Uh, Big Red, long time ago, did a channel chat with Austin. Very informative about uh, C. Gosh, that was uh, yeah, very good. When was that? 2020 or 21? Something like that. It's been yeah, a while. It was quite a while ago. Yeah. You know, there I started making Ultim knots. You know. <laughs> now he's not gonna have you on anymore there right. you go uh knives fast austin c reisner tpk doesn't really matter Thank austin's you, crew give the Appreciate best it. customer service in the business so, mm -hmm. yep you. that's that's that is the truth so all right guys mm -hmm. real quick uh let's go ahead i'm, I'm not gonna keep this going all night because uh yeah i don't want to keep austin here all night so uh the hashtag you're gonna use by the way u.s mailing address is only this is a knife uh, so hashtag jigged, jigged or jigged or whichever it is, but spell <laughs> it go. like you see it on the screen. And uh, let's just show what we're giving away real quick. Uh, let's get everything out here. It's 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 quite the haul over here. What did I do? All right. So first of all, I always show these two things first. Uh, everybody's hammering that hashtag. That's good. So tonight's bunny we showed a little bit earlier is the buff. Uh, bunny here, the buff Easter bunny. I uh, will pump you up. Uh, and he's got the man, I'm, I'm telling you, that scar is scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. And uh, then tonight's uh, butter knife uh, from our buddy Trev is butter knife number 148, signed by Trevor as well. 
And then we've got all kinds. Of, there's a there's a TPK sticker in here. Matter of fact, we're gonna stick one of these PP stickers in there. We got two of them, so we're gonna put one in there. And uh, there's a couple more from you in there, and uh, everything else. So really cool. There's some big red, some O Father, some uh, Mike Curtis, splitting slices, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, uh, Lefty EDC. There's a little bit of everything in there. Uh, grumpy grunt i saw yeah all right and then you're gonna get a tool along sailboat from our buddy tim b thank you tim uh even though i don't read your comments uh i am very appreciative of your donation all right uh, now i'm in big trouble and we'll come full screen in just a minute to show the last piece but you're also going to get a through night uh this is the t1 sv2 um, I was hoping it was more gold than bronze, but it's bronze because uh, I kind of wanted it to match what else we're giving away. You get the, the flashlight and the charging cable. Of course, great flashlight. In my opinion, it's a phenomenal flashlight. Oh, very cool, Richard. Austin is 15 miles from me. I've gotten orders mm -hmm. the next day. Very cool. That's right. Yep, yep. Very cool. That's awesome, man. You, man. And there's also some uh, stickers in here in what I'm about to show. If I can get this back out of the box. Seriously, Casey. All right. So we're giving away tonight to celebrate 18K. And guys, you, you want to you really want to thank Austin uh, for donating what we're about to see to the channel. Uh, this is the gold jigged titanium button lock penguin uh we are giving this puppy away tonight courtesy of traditional pocket knives uh very nice knife like i said this one is broken in very well um and man it just feels like it's got a detent it's just really nice uh came out great and i like that austin's sticking his own ideas in there with qsp that's always great <clears throat> so that is what we are giving away tonight I needs it. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Alicord. Alicord says 15 miles. I'll pick it up. That's right. Yep. I have people that do that all the time here. Yeah. I love it. I get to talk That's with awesome. them. Dirty men. So we talk yeah. about guys and just a whole bunch of local That's guys. Great. One and day did I'm I hear a... you right? Did I hear you right recently that you're doing this full time now? Uh, full time. Full time. Yeah, I baby. My job and, uh, I love it. Yeah. I'll, I'll officially come out with some uh, video and kind of update everybody. But, yeah, I quit my full-time job. And, uh, That's yeah, awesome. I, mean, I bust my butt the last three or four years working three jobs. I own a commercial property. I own, obviously, the knives. And then I worked my other job. And I've worked my butt off the last three years. And it's uh, finally time to go full-time with knives. And That's awesome, it. man. It's so much fun. Yeah, and, yeah, and I think what we're going to see, guys, that not – look, not that anything has suffered, as we're going to see Austin have more time to come up with ideas. So uh, <laughs> that is that is really uh, uh, scary uh, on your pocketbooks, uh, folks. But it's also uh, really, really awesome. Now, before we draw, I want everybody to remember: here's here's our friendly neighborhood cards. Okay, so these <laughs> are the things uh, that you need to focus on on uh, the well. If Casey can get himself straight here. The smooth Ultim penguin drops on the fifth. Okay, and again, this all the three things I'm about to show you. You can use the code knives fast TPK and get five dollars off. So that's that. And then all three of the jigged titanium penguins. Okay, and uh, that that's the button locks. And then uh, whatever's left of these, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I ordered uh, uh, way too many of all five of those knives. Okay. I had 600 hedgehogs, uh, 800 of the minis, and uh, I think 600 of the the pluses. I don't know why I, I put oh, together wow. such a large order, but you know they're yeah, selling. Well, the they sell every single day, and um, honestly, right. it's it's probably been a good decision that I've had them in stock. And um, ouch, people I'm trying to, to hurt myself here. Them. The um, the plus, where is it? There it is. Uh, the the plus that in that jig is just fantastic i mean this thing is smooth as all get out um so good 
just just really really good um as a matter of fact i have and i keep saying i'm just going to sell this one i have a 20 cv uh titanium penguin uh uh the the large one and i just i like the the jigged one way better i mean it's just it's just really cool so but uh yep 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 awesome stuff as as always. All right, guys. Well, we're going to draw for this in just a minute. So if you are not in yet, definitely type that in. Type that in exactly how you see it on the screen. And everybody, thank you for... Uh, oh, yeah. Wish you much success. Absolutely, thank we you, do. Appreciate it. Thank you. Congrats on giving up the day job. <laughs> thank you, <Yeah>. man. Thank <laughs> you. There you go, pocket raisers. <laughs> You know, now I see myself putting in, uh, I mean, I work from seven to five, but I love it. You know, I love pocket knives and I love emails and I love phone calls. And uh, so I'm probably working oh. more now, but I love it. <laughs> I almost forgot to talk about my favorite topic when you're on. I, mm -hmm. I And somebody said it earlier and I didn't get to say it. Are you still, yeah. are you, you are, I know you are. You're still the crazy guy opening knives with, with his thumb, right? <laughs> I am. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Every no, time you do I that, I cringe. I just absolutely <laughs> cringe every right. time because I would slice myself. One hundred. I just take it to the to the point where I mean, I I just barely push it and it opens. You know, so I, I, I it's not like I'm I'm literally. I would be afraid to follow it against it, though. but uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm a klutz. <laughs> if you haven't heard that, I'm a klutz. I would never do that because I will cut myself. Um. It would happen, but good, good, man. If you guys haven't ever watched him on Instagram, he does that. And it's just <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. There's something going on in the chat, but I missed it. Yeah, you have to do the hashtag. So if you're not doing that, you need to do jigged with the hashtag. Okay. All caps, pound sign, capital J I G G E D. So if you haven't done that, there you go. See, JR's got it covered. I would have no thumbs if I did that. That's exactly right. <laughs> Those video edits uh, are the LCD, best. I love the ones. Uh, rose crop. Any, any rose crop. Oh, model. very cool. There you go. Rose craft blades. And you can get those. And again, you can use my code, NiceFast10, and get 10%. Yep. Uh, I got it all. Oh, um, there you go. Got it that time. Jeez. It's, you, yeah, it's I mean, your seriously. fault for going any, back any and forth crap. between dollars and going back and forth between dollars and percentages, man. You're killing me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you don't, you know, have the money for a Jack Wolf or you don't have the money for a Lake Champlain, you know, go with uh, Rosecraft. See if you like, see if you like carrying a slip joint, if you're new to slip joints. And if you like them, then move on up. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think everybody should try a slip joint. Even mm -hmm. if you just go get a go get a, a rough rider again, uh, mm -hmm. the Rosecrafts to me are way better. Um, but uh, you know, get something and see if you even like the concept, and then go yeah. from there. All right, guys, we're gonna draw for this because, like I said, I don't want to keep everybody here all night. Um, and we're gonna see who wins this. All right, guys. Um, so again, give it about fifteen seconds. One hundred and twenty three entries and 138 people in the chat very nice very nice and if you're not subscribed and you happen to be in the chat go take care of that as well um and uh you know can always be a channel member or whatever we got lots of options around here <laughs> rough rider reserve Bar barlow or brother warncliffe okay i'm scared of slip joints don't be scared of them uh, you just gotta get used to it, man. Yeah. Are we not yeah. over a hundred yeah, thumbs up? Half, half, half upworks and all that. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's 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 an idea in your head, and, and I, I'll be honest with you, Austin. I, I have to stop for a minute because I'm a speed guy. Mm -hmm. I grab something, and I'm right. just like bam, bam, you know. And when I pick mm -hmm. up a slip joint, I I yeah. totally change mentalities. Mm -hmm. To I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very uh, methodical about what I'm doing. And that's why I said I wouldn't do the thumb thing because I'm just 
I'm just when I'm in that headspace of slip joint, mm -hmm. I'm being way more careful. Um, yeah. It's just the way it is. Yep. Uh, that that we mentioned this with the last Jack Wolves. That was epic. Uh, oh, you absolutely. doing individual postings of the wood? Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that from here on out because I mean that it's just it's so much easier. You know, I'll have five or six emails saying, Hey, can you pick me out five for me to choose from? And um, it's just so easier or it's just easier. if We just go ahead and picture them individually. Yeah, Let them do it. Them let them pick it out themselves. Yeah, absolutely. I, I bet it's tougher though. If you're a guy that wants two or three of them that, that you see, and then you're, ah! mm -hmm. which one, which How one are we going to get to these? Yep. I, I hear a lot of people love their Iowa River Thank Jacks, you, Bryce. That, yeah. That's awesome. It's a great knife, man. He's a speed. Now, guy. I have a second run. I don't know if I already said this. I have a second run of ORJs coming, uh, <laughs> jig ties. So. Oh, very <laughs> cool. Right. Very cool. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. They they pick on me for show. Yeah. There you go. For show. All right, fine. All right, we got 122 likes, so we'll go ahead and do the drawing here. In 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam! 123 entries. Let's see who our winner is. And thanks again to Austin. Very cool. Angelo, what's up? What's up? Very yes. cool. Angelo, let me know you're in the chat, please. All right. Just taking notes so I can remember who I'm sending stuff to. All right. Angelo, what, let me know you're here. Days, uh, I forget it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, where are you, Angelo? Are you here? Let's make sure he's here. If he, if he is here, I'm never going to see him. Okay. You saw him because I did not. So if you did, mm -hmm. that's good. Angelo, uh, what I need from you is is to send me an email, knivesfast at gmail.com. Give me your name uh, and your address, and we will get this beautiful package out to you. So thank you so much, Austin, and congratulations to uh, Delaney earlier and to Angelo. Now we got it. It's the night of the one name, people. Uh, Delaney and Angelo are our winners tonight. So very, very cool. That's awesome. So thanks again, Austin. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. And uh, we'll look. We'll look forward to uh, all of the uh, fun and exclusives coming up. And like I said, I think it's cool that you you kind of doubled down on making fun of the the PP. Uh, and yeah. so uh, that did you, did that, you like that my uh, video? The the the, in, the intro yes. on the video. Oh my gosh, the sounds <laughs> and everything. It was Dude, like, I was like, like me and Brian, we're going back and forth. Like, do we do it? Do we not do it? I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. Have fun with it. Oh gosh. That that was uh oh there you go. Angela says thank you, Austin. So very mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you're glad you're here and uh glad everybody's here. Uh we're already dropping, so uh goodbye to all the people uh <laughs> that leave immediately. But uh, uh I, I'm always gonna pick on those people, but um Forgot to sign up for the text updates from TPK. Yeah, go do that for yeah, sure. Yeah, we just installed that program, so now we can uh, shoot out text alerts. So, yeah, that's site, cool. Not for text. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. The penguin, exactly. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's. Uh, mm -hmm. But guys, don't forget. That's the main reason we were here tonight is to make sure you guys know that these are dropping Friday at noon this Friday. Uh, only at TPK. It's the only place you're going to get the smooth Ultim or the PP Penguin, as I keep calling it. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you can see how well this is this is uh, breaking in, by the way. Mm -hmm. Way better than yeah. it was when I first at opened first it. At first, it was a little, yeah. uh, like you said, it was stiff, and you got you to work all that stuff out. And uh, that's something I've yeah. already addressed with QSP, and we're going to work on that. Um, yeah. But, I mean, I love mine now. It's, well, I only pointed it out because you could see in my unboxing that, that it was stiff mm -hmm. and I want everybody. No, yeah, this is what yeah. it looks like now. So, um, all right. I missed something. I don't, I don't know if I want to 
read what I missed. But anyway, um, sometimes you don't read every comment in the chat because mm -hmm. you're not sure what you're getting into. Um, mm -hmm. what, what did I do, Rusty? Uh-oh. Apparently I was supposed to look at my phone or something, maybe? Nope. I don't see anything, Rusty. Uh, we are under a lightning alert warning right now here. Yeah, we have uh, a whole bunch of uh, tornadoes coming, supposedly. So, Oh, no. We'll <laughs> tornadoes and hail and yeah. wind and whatever. Yeah, that's why I was glad when Trevor got back because they were out fishing. And then I yeah. saw that those, those storms start to roll in. I'm like, get home, kid. So, um, <laughs> gosh. Thanks, Michael. Uh, if you ever say something nice to me, I may have a heart attack right here on the stream. <laughs> It might happen. Hey, Michael of Church, glad you're here. Oh gosh, uh, the email or his website, Angela. The email for me is knivesfast at gmail.com is what you email. Knivesfast at gmail.com. And Austin's website is traditionalpocketknives.com. Yep, PP Penguin with Ultim Scales. That is correct. <laughs> Uh, you gotta, I mean, the one thing that just stuck out to me when I opened this is just how polished it is. Mm -hmm. They I mean, must have really all the jokes aside. It, it honestly does look, in my opinion, very yeah. beautiful. I think, I mean, the color is, is I'm, right I'm on. not big on the color, but yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> a like beautiful, it. it's you do. Okay. Well, <laughs> again, that's people like you are why this will sell mm -hmm. well. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't dislike it as much as I used to. I'm kind of getting mm -hmm. used to it now, I guess I should say. Um, and, 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 you know, gotta love it. It's, it's on one of my knives, even though I didn't pick it, they did, but, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really cool. Good night, Bryce. Uh, no, no, Michael, <laughs> no, Michael, uh, <laughs> He likes a knife that I have, and I'm I'm not getting rid of that one. It's not happening, uh, at least not yet, until I decide to sell it sometime. But not yet, or give it away. You never know. All right. Well, we are going to wrap it up. And uh, Austin, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, sorry, no problem, it gets kind of silly around here. We have a, a crazy time, hmm. and uh, it's always fun. I enjoy it. I I love uh, the fact that every time we do this, there's people that haven't really heard much about your store. Yeah. I yep. think that's that's cool. That means we're uh, we're still reaching some people, and I think that's uh, that that's really that's really cool. Love to see your business keep growing for sure. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, we all, everybody would here would like to see that for sure. So yeah. we'll I mean, like I said, I'm full time now, so uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm booked up until 2025 with with projects. So yeah, Woo! Yeah, a whole bunch of content and yeah. So if yeah, you don't I'm like sure my we'll content, you better it. unsubscribe now because <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep going. You're toast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we'll definitely see you. Yes, Austin has a store. Thank you. Uh, and we'll definitely mm -hmm. see you at Blade Show as well, I'm sure. Yep. And, Sounds good, uh, man. I'll be there. Go from there. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Uh, guys, like and comment. And uh, definitely go check out TPK. And, uh, you know, uh, Awesome. We'll have to do this. You know, I was thinking about this um, earlier, uh, but I wasn't going to say it while we're both here and everybody's listening, but we'll say it anyway. Uh, I think it would be cool what we'll do sometime was when you do get in, in a stride like that where you have several things up there. You know what we'll do? We'll have you on and we'll just go shopping on your site. We'll go. We'll put up yeah. your store on the on there and we'll just walk through uh, what's available. Could have done that tonight, but uh, we'll we'll do it. We'll have you on again. And uh, when it's a good time, you, you just let me know and we'll we'll put the store up and we'll just walk through page by page and look at some different things and what's available. So uh, I think good. that's really cool. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. And thank you, Austin. And guys, thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel. Have a good one. Bye.